Hi, welcome to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Now, quads are pretty good and I enjoy flying quads. I'm a fair weather pilot, I don't deny that. You can have a bit of fun flying a quadcopter. However, I do like flying planes. planes however I also like the wings I've got a couple of wings and I have got one of the new wings and this wing was basically with postage 36 pounds about 45 dollars so thank you for purchasing the WRA spec wing the spec wing is designed for the UK wing racing series the idea is to provide a homologated wing kit to allow you to participate in the spec series wing racing league it is also an exciting and low cost wing to build and fly whether fpv or normal sport flying it says it all as you can see it's been you can see it's a matted finish uh, where it's been through the hot cutting process all the slots are cut for the spars they provide the spars there's the mount motor mount so this is the spec wing and this is made to match the racing spec so it's it's a standardized wing spec for racing they've got the um, elevons so there's elevons and they are quite a thick gauge bolter winglets supports a little bag of hardware some control rods and some carbon fiber spars a mustache to look like a RAF pilot bandit six o'clock old chum a set of stickers and uh, a set of destructions so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it together I'm going to do all the necessary I'm going to follow the instructions to the letter I'm going to stick them together I'm going to put the spars in I'm going to do all the uh, all the necessaries then I have some laminate. I'm going to laminate it. Never done laminating before, so that's going to be new to me. And I'm going to put the elevons on there. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of mylar hinges, or are they looking for tape? I, I don't know. But I'm going to put pin hinges, so it's going to have some proper hinges in there. This is going to be set up with a standard motor which is a 28, 26, 2200 kV. This will be set up to run on a 2200 3S battery to meet the standard. I will be using a TBS Unify Pro VTX, cheapy camera. The receiver I'm gonna put in there, I think I'm gonna put a standard um, D4R2 lightweight receiver, which I've got somewhere here. So the D4R2, so it's going to be very lightweight, flying fast and manoeuvrable. So as you can see, that's it. So this is from flyingwings.co.uk. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is glue it all together, get it all set up as far as I can go. Then I'm going to decide where the battery is going to go. And I'm going to cut the battery out retrospectively, ensuring I got center gravity, because I don't want to add weight. So I'm going to build it first, and the last thing I'm going to do is work out where the battery is best to match the center gravity. Then I'm going to hack out the foam to mount the battery in there. And I can do that last off. I'm not going to follow the instructions. Sorry, flying wings. I do like to do things a little bit differently, but a couple of mates have already built them and they found themselves adding weight to get the center of gravity right. Uh, so I'm going to position everything where I where I'm happy with the VTX to go and the and the receiver. So everything's where I want it to be, and then I'm going to put the battery to make sure I've got center gravity. Let's get building. Mm -hmm. 